when I was demonstrating my Hammond reverb amplifier, guitar amplifier conversion, I was looking at the schematic and I saw that this this compression this volume compressor on here, which was two two light bulbs and two resistors. You got the input going through that circuit and then to the output. And it's it's uh supposed to be a compressor. So I when I was demonstrating the amplifier I said I would try to experiment with this and, and see what we would come up with. Maybe maybe I can come come up with some kind of a pedal or something on that. I've still got the still got the parts. This these these are the light bulbs. This I think is the rest of it. There's a there was a transistor on the input of the amplifier that I'm not going to use, but I think these are the original resistors that go with it, with the light bulb. So I'll, I'll see what I can come up with here, and maybe come up with some kind of a pedal or something. That that would be kind of kind of interesting. So stick around. This schematic has got is that a 68, 68 ohm and a hundred ohm. 68 ohm and 100 ohm. I think I I think I'm gonna try to experiment with maybe like a some variable resistors in those positions and just see what we can come up with. What do you think, Leroy? Yeah. All right, I've got it wired up here. I um, I just put this switch. I put the switch right between these two right here and right here so it, it just cuts it just cuts off this connection and goes straight to the straight to the output so it, it fluctuates not fluctuates but it just switches between the uh, going through the lights or completely bypassing them and I, I'm going to demonstrate that. I've, I've got this thing just wired up through through uh, my power supply, and so right, right now it's off. And then when it goes, when it's on, the lights, the, the signal will go through the lights. Now it's not going to it's not going to light up like that with a guitar. This is, I mean, I got six volts, six volts. Um, going through it right now but the idea is that it will just compress the signal a little bit it's not going to light the lights up I don't at least I don't think it will what do you think Leroy I, I would think you would I don't think it's going to I don't think guitar doesn't put up that that much volt voltage but it, you know it, it'll when it's off it completely bypasses the lights and then when it's on the, the signal goes through both lights so let's see how that sounds. See if it even makes a difference on the guitar. I've just got a bunch of these switches that have multiple, basically multiple switches built into. It's like three three switches built into one. It's really good for for to use for for making pedals. Okay, I've just got uh, my Strat running through this little Estefan amplifier. These are good amplifiers, uh, actually good little amplifiers to just to test things with. It. I mean, they, they're really pretty good amplifiers, and they're cheap as it can be. Okay, so I've got this thing running through here. I put the um, two 100 ohm resistors just like the schematic has and uh, you know <laughs> I mean it's about it's got a, it's about 25% of the way up on volume 
and well I mean you can crank it all the way up and it's like almost nothing almost nothing coming through and I, the guitar is all the way up and I have no idea which which way is on and which way is off but it doesn't really sound that much different do you, can you tell a difference and I mean this it's all the way up so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this down because I tried this earlier a minute ago. I'm going to take these resistors out. Uh, so I need to look at the circuit a little bit closer. You should be able to tell more of a difference than that. I think I'm going to try to put some variable resistors in place of these. That's a hundred. Those are hundreds. Hmm. A compressor should like bring everything. It should level out the level out the sound. I can tell a little bit of difference. It's not dramatic. It's just maybe a little bit softer, don't you think, Leroy? Yes, I do. Just a little bit um, smoother sound when it's, and I'm assuming it's kicked in. I, it's hard to tell. You know, I should have just put like a toggle switch here. But uh, I think I'm going to sleep on this and think about this. You know, this is a pretty good experiment, but it doesn't really seem like it's that dramatic. Not really, not really a dramatic difference. So I'm not sure if it's worth worth the trouble at this point. But I want to think about this and maybe make a couple changes to the circuit or something and then see what we can come up with. After testing this volume compressor, w w you know, running the guitar through it to the amp, it, it really had no effect. I mean, it really had very, very minimal effect, if anything. Even with running like a overdrive pedal through it. So I, st I started looking at this schematic a little bit closer and I, s I was looking at the output of this Hammond this is a Hammond AO44 reverb amp that this came from and you see here's this is where it looks like a you know speaker output here's the output transformer and then normally you'd have your speakers hooked there but I noticed that it's basically the same symbol right there as what's down here on the the signal input so I th I'm not sure but I think I think this little volume compressor was after the after the output transformer so I've got it I've got it wired up that way right now I've got it wired up that way. Um, I've got my little symphonic tube amplifier. Um, what what I've got is the I've got the signal running out of the amplifier. It's run, running out of the amplifier. And th this is normally the um, this is normally the speak the speaker output coming and going through the lights and then out to a, my shop speaker which is a Fender Fender 12 inch speaker 
So, um, and that actually seems like it does something. I did, th this thing has got, you know, the resistors say 68 and 100. There, and I, you know, I tried some, I tried some 100 to 100 ohm resistors and it it didn't seem like it did anything so then what, I, what I've got now is I've got it plugged in to I've got some 50 ohm variable resistors plugged in there and it actually has some effect um, basically it's just so, kind of soaking up the signal is is what it seems like it kind of like I, I don't know back in the 80s they had those Tom Scholl's power soaks it, it seems kind of like that where it's you, you can play at high volume your amps at high volume but it coming out of the speaker uh, it is a lot lower volume but anyway I'll go ahead and de demonstrate this right now Okay, so it's pretty loud. That's with it off. And then if I turn it on. I don't know if you can see the lights are actually lighting up. And I, I wasn't expecting that. But I guess it's, you know so many volts coming out of the amplifier. It does something. <laughs> I'm not sure what what I would use that for. That's with the what that's with the um, the pots all the way up. That's with the pots all the way up. And if you turn them all the way down, it actually cuts back on a lot of the the noise. Yeah. as much and that makes sense because it's just not getting as much juice but uh, I don't know I might find a use for this I'll, I'll probably go ahead and I'll probably go ahead and put this in an enclosure and I you know I suppose I could use it for something like um, if I ever for some reason wasn't able to turn my amp down low enough I guess I guess if you had an amp that didn't have a master volume you could put this in between the the amp and the speakers and you know you could get your your breakup on your amp at a lower volume so Anyway, anyway, that's it for now.